what have you done for us lately? This is a sentiment that can feel relevant when you are a scholar who has changed institutions as a tenure track assistant professor or as someone who has moved from a postdoc into a tenure track position and has a track record, a publication record that comes from that previous institution. So this tutorial is all about uh, one of the more unfair dimensions of academia in my, in my view, which is the tendency, or at least the open question mark, as to how your new institution will count the work that you did before you arrived. So let me put it in concrete terms. Let's imagine that you have just started as a tenure track assistant professor at institution X, prior to which you were either in a three-year postdoc beforehand or you were already tenure track assistant professor at another institution and then you applied for an outside job and moved. While you were at that prior institution, your first book came out and it did well, it was well reviewed, or at least maybe now the reviews are coming out. And in theory, if you had simply stayed at that previous institution on your regular tenure clock there, you would have been sort of well on your way and people celebrated your book and people patted you on the back, etc., etc. But something strange can happen when you move institutions, which is that other book is, to put it crassly, like the child of another marriage and there is this strange question as to which institution that work of yours wholly belongs to and whether or not it's going to be looked upon with the same kind of evaluation as if you had released that book, published that book while assistant professor at your new institution. It is a deeply unfair question, but it's one that I have seen in action many times. The way it can play out in its most toxic form is that, in essence, the work that someone does prior to moving institutions can almost seem as if it counts, but less than it would have if you were just a member of that faculty the entire time. And therefore, there can be this peculiar, almost unspoken sense that you, unlike all of your peers, are going to have to make even more significant progress towards a next project if you're going to have the same kind of chance with your tenure review. Now, none of this is spelled out, and none of this would ever be written down in an email, but you often hear this kind of question um, about what new do you have going on? Now, any dean or chair that is responsible and ethical um, and believes in equity will do everything in their power to fight this trend, to sort of quash these rumors, and more importantly, to steer the conversation within the actual tenure discussions for a particular file away from this. And yet, for some reason, culturally, there is this inertia within, within academia to you know, discount a little bit, not totally, but to discount the work that someone has done prior to joining your institution. So if you are in a, that kind of position, if you have changed institutions while still on tenure track, or you had a substantial amount of time during which you have a track record, a publication track record, prior to joining an institution, that is one question that you definitely want to bring up earlier rather than later with your chair, try to get clarification. If you have conversations with your dean, uh, certainly with senior mentors and colleagues. And then of course, once your tenure committee is formed, it is a entirely reasonable question to say, I've heard through the grapevine and I'm slightly concerned that because I published my book in my previous institution, that in some way I'm going to be held to a different metric uh, when it comes to significant progress. Can you tell me what that's about? Is that true? Do I have anything to worry about? And make sure they are aware of that concern and make sure that you educate yourself on this issue. You don't want to find this out late in the process. I'll see you in the next tutorial.